Hey there, Dr. Mamina here. Welcome back. Today I have an interesting topic that touches on the science behind skincare. I'm talking about the importance of finding the right pH balance in your skincare routine and breaking down why it's important. Plus stick around until the end to hear all about my favorite pH friendly products. First, let's start with the basics. So your skin's pH, AKA potential of hydrogen, remember what you learned in chemistry, this is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of your skin. So generally speaking, a pH scale ranges from zero to 14, where seven is considered neutral. Below seven is acidic and above seven is alkaline. When referring to your skin's pH, it's typically on average at around 4.7. So it's slightly acidic. This acidity is actually important for maintaining something called the acid mantle, which is a very thin protective layer on your skin's surface, which acts as a barrier to things like bacteria, viruses, and other potential contaminants like pollution, irritants, things that might penetrate your skin. But why does all this matter? Well, your skin's pH balance is necessary for things to function properly, like timely skin cell turnover or the functioning of enzymes that are responsible for maintaining your skin's hydration antimicrobial defenses, and barrier function. People with impaired skin barriers who have conditions like rosacea or eczema are more likely to have disruptions in their pH balance. So that's why it's really important to use skincare products that align with your personal pH so that you can protect your skin from various potential skin issues. But how can you tell if your skin's pH is imbalanced? Are there signs that you should look for? Yes. So one of the most common signs of a skin pH imbalance is dryness. When the skin's pH is disrupted, it can lose its moisture, making it more dry and tight. Redness is another sign of pH imbalance. You might see inflammation and irritation on your skin, which leads to things like redness and blotchiness. Skin conditions involving redness can include things like rosacea and perioral dermatitis. Peeling or flaking skin can also indicate a pH imbalance as well as itchiness. You may also notice that your skin might be more sensitive to other skincare products or environmental factors when its pH levels are imbalanced. So by paying attention to these signs, you can identify potential pH imbalances in your skin and take the right steps to restore its natural balance. And if you're ever unsure of the true root cause behind your skin issue, it's always best to speak with your derm to ensure that you get the right treatment. Understanding the pH levels in your skincare products will help you better manage your skin's balance. So first, I wanna go back a little in time when people were less aware of proper skincare. So in the past, before skincare was like a big thing, people relied solely on traditional bar soaps, which are actually a common disruptor of the skin's pH balance. Bar soaps are generally more alkaline and they can leave your skin vulnerable to dryness, irritation, and other issues. But luckily, skincare formulas, as well as a lot of bar soaps today, have come a long way. And now we have so many cleansers and skincare products that are specifically formulated to match the skin's natural pH. We have so many great products now that can just work effectively alongside your skin without compromising its pH balance. However, it's still important to be aware of other factors that can affect your skin's pH. So these can include things like overusing products with active ingredients. Active ingredients include things like exfoliating acids, things like glycolic acid or salicylic acid. They also include things like retinoids. There's also medicated ingredients like antibacterial agents amongst others. So over exfoliating or overusing actives can actually disrupt the skin's natural pH levels and lead to things like irritation and sensitivity. Similarly, skincare products containing high concentrations of alcohol can also have a drying effect on your skin and disrupt its pH balance. Also, overwashing your face with cleansers that have more oil stripping ingredients or using hot water all the time can strip away your skin's natural oils and disrupt its pH balance, making your skin more dry, tight, or prone to acne or premature aging. So by incorporating skincare products with the appropriate pH levels into your routine, you can actually help maintain your skin's natural balance and prevent some of these common issues when it's imbalanced. So speaking of products, let's get into some of my favorites and go over tips to keep your skin balanced. So when looking at your skincare products to ensure pH levels are balanced, I always recommend looking for gentle products that are made for sensitive skin. So you want these products to include things like a gentle cleanser, a gentle moisturizer, and sunscreen. Another skincare product to consider is a toner. Now I feel like toners get a bad rap because they're often deemed unnecessary in the skincare world and it's partially true. Toners were actually originally invented to help replenish the skin's pH balance after the use of that old traditional barrier impairing soap. But now our soaps and cleansers are so much more gentle and pH friendly. So theoretically a toner is 
probably not necessary. I only recommend it if you have sensitive skin and you wanna do more to really replenish and restore the pH in your skin. Or if you love skincare and don't mind taking an extra step in your routine, toner may be for you. Otherwise, I would not stress about needing a toner in your routine. And if you have a compromised skin barrier or if you're experiencing any signs of pH imbalance, it's essential to stop the practices that can further aggravate your skin, which I mentioned earlier, things like overwashing, over cleansing, over exfoliating, or using multiple active ingredients together. I also recommend avoiding products that contain a lot of fragrance, allergens, irritants, especially if you have sensitive skin. Also using a humidifier, especially during the dry cold weather, can also help your skin maintain adequate moisture levels, keeping things more in balance. So to restore and protect your skin barrier, I recommend barrier repair creams that contain ingredients ingredients that really help build, nourish, and maintain the health of your skin barrier. So for example, you want to look for moisturizers with ingredients like niacinamide, ceramides, glycerin, squalane, shea butter, colloidal oatmeal. Centella or Sica can provide soothing benefits as well. Overall, here are some of my favorite pH balanced skincare products. For cleansers, some options I like are Vanny Cream Gentle Cleanser, the La Roche-Posay Tellurian line, Cetaphil Gentle Cleanser, and the Aven Gentle Milk Cleanser. These gentle cleansers will effectively clean your skin without stripping away its natural moisture. I'm also a fan of soothing waters, so sometimes I like to incorporate La Roche-Posay's Thermal Water or the Aven Thermal Spring Water into my routine after cleansing. Then for barrier repair creams, I'm a big fan of La Roche-Posay's Cicaplast Balm B5, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Barrier Cream, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, and if you deal with extra dry skin, consider sealing in that moisture with an ointment like Aquaphor Healing Ointment or Vaseline Petroleum Jelly, but I don't really recommend it if you are prone to acne. So by incorporating pH balanced products into your skincare routine and following these recommendations, you can effectively maintain your skin's pH balance and promote optimal skin health. But as always, you really wanna to listen to your own skin's needs and really adjust your skin as you see fit or speak to your doctor if you're not sure. I hope you found this video on skin's pH balance helpful. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about skincare and skin health, be sure to download my free gift, my top five skincare favorites. And remember to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to start your holistic wellness journey for your mind, body, and skin. Thanks for watching.